right, everybody, let's get our rocket into Blender and see what we can do with it. I'm going to go to my H drive, Big Bertha Rocket folder, and I'm going to pick an earlier Tri-6 that doesn't have any textures or color applied to it. I'm going to do all of that inside of Blender as I go. I'm going to start up this rocket. As you can see, it's pretty basic. You should have more than I do. Uh, for instance, the lug that should be on the side and the engine compartment should look better than that. I think you can do a little more accurate job. But this will work for getting into Blender. I'm going to select everything, make sure it's in a group. I'm not sure how well that helps or not, but let's give it a try. To get this into a format that Blender can understand, we're going to export as a 3D model. The default export type is DAE, a collada file. And I'm going to ask that you add the letters DAE onto the end so it's really easy to tell one from the other. I also need you to notice that it defaults to my documents. A lot of people are losing their files, but they're just not navigating to the H drive. They're assuming it's going to be in the same place, but it's not. You'll notice that it doesn't look like anything's in here, but that's because this is a new type of file. This is the first time I've exported into this folder. Once you do that, you can actually close. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save those changes. And then start Blender. If you don't see it on the list here, you can type BLE, and it should be on there. If it's not, then we can install it from the software center for you. This is Blender 2.71. And this is what we see when we get started. The middle mouse wheel, the scroll wheel, works really good for scrolling around. And if you want to move, hold down the shift and you can navigate and look around as well. What you're seeing here is a light source. You can select it and you can right click on things to affect them, such as move them using our three point axis. Same thing for the camera. It can be moved, and the same thing for our cube. Right click on the cube, and you can move it around as well. Now, we don't want a cube, we want a rocket. So I'm going to right click on it, it's selected, press the delete key, and say yes, delete the cube. If I undo that, Control Z works just as well in this program as many others. And let's do a quick render of this cube just to show you what that means. The quickest way is to press F12 on the keyboard. There's also this, the render image, and you can see the F12 there. If you render it, you will see something that looks like this. The light source is a very strong light source, and so you have very dark shadows. You have this formless gray nothingness around it at this time. To get out of this render, a lot of times I'll just hit escape. It doesn't always work right off the bat. I have to click to make it escape sometimes. The other place that you can do the rendering is over here on the right. You can see the camera, and then here's render. You want to be careful and click on render just a single image. If you click on animation before you're ready, then you're going to end up making a lot of files into a temporary folder on the C drive and fill it up. So later on, we're going to set the output of where we want these to go. And we're going to set something up on the D drive because these will take up a lot of room. So once again, we're going to keep our recipe for what we're doing on the H drive where it's safe. And then our output and our pictures and stuff like that are going to end up on the D drive where we can recreate them if we want to if they disappear. But the recipe is going to be saved in the H drive. Okay, so let's take a look at bringing in our rocket. I'm going to delete the cube and go to File, Import, the Colada DAE file. That's by default. And again, I'm going to have to navigate. It thinks I should be in Documents, but I know I saved it in the H drive in a folder that we all made together. When you bring it in, there it is. There's our rocket. Should look pretty much like that. If we hit the F12 key and render, we see some very strong shadows and the fins, everything there on the rocket. Now, if we rotate around, that doesn't change the camera. If you hit F12, you're going to get the same view. 
So let me show you a quick way of moving this camera around. Yes, it's possible to try and move it into position and get a different, well, what am I moving? I don't know. Let me right click on the camera. I can move it closer and over and render out a closer view of those fins, but there is an easier way. Just move around until you see the angle that you want to render. Let's say a dramatic angle from below, and I'm going to move the camera to this position by holding down Control Alt on the keyboard and pressing the zero on the number pad. It will not work up above. It has to be the zero on the number pad. And I've just moved the camera to this new place. If I hit F12 render, I get a close-up view of those fins. So I'm going to escape out of this and mouse click and right click and try and get out of that. So that now you can see that, yep, there's the camera down below pointing up at our rocket. Let's get another view of the whole rocket. And control alt zero again and try and get another view. We might want to um, zoom out a little bit and do that again so that we can see the whole rocket. There's the render. All right, so let's do a couple of things to make this look a little more realistic. And one of them is going to be a setting under the world settings. I'm going to click on it and you're going to see over here that we've got a button called environment lighting. And what that's going to do is make the light bounce around instead of it being so bright on one side and dark on the other. It's going to create a light that works in more than one direction at once. It bounces the light around. Now if I hit F12 and look at this again, you can see this light is very bright. So it shouldn't really be a full strength of one for our purposes. I'm going to bring it down to about a quarter of that and hit F12 again and get a pretty nice render. We got nice soft shadows and we can really see quite a bit there. Hit Escape and click and away and mouse. Oh, it's when you try and mouse wheel and move that you get your view back again. Okay, so that is changing the lighting. That's bringing our rocket in. There's a couple more things I'd like to do before we get too fancy. Uh, but I'm going to end this first tutorial here so that you can get in there and render some different views of your rocket with lighting that really shows it off.